Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of the forklift guy. Here I have a PE uh, 4500 here, a Crown PE, and it's throwing me a code 343, which is forward and reverse switch detected, meaning that you can't really see it here on the screen because um, the display is kind of messed up, but it's throwing the wrench code every time I go forward and reverse. So here is a... Um, quick sketch of what the code is you guys can pause the screen and read it if you want and here's the schematics event code 343 so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into um, analyzer and or sorry services level 2 and I want to check the inputs so I'm going to put in the passcode, which is 9454, which is the typical password for these writers. If that doesn't work, then the code is probably 22311. So once I'm in, I'm going to go to Analyzer, and I'm going to go to Inputs, All right, which is should be A2, because A1 is just status. I'm going to go to A2, Inputs. Once I'm in Inputs, then I'm going to go to A2.2, which is Access 3, which is the main computer, and that's what I want to check, the inputs from Access 3. Alright, now I'm going to scroll down until I get to Forward Switch. Right there. Alright, once I'm in Forward Switch, then I click Right, and then I'm going to go Forward. Every time I go Forward, a number 1 should pop up. So I'm going forward, number one pops up. Alright, now I'm going to go backwards here. Backwards, and it should not pop up. The one should not pop up. And it does. So every time I go backwards, it pops up. That means that there is a short somewhere in the harness. Alright, so if that wasn't hard enough, there's also um, an SAS switch right here, this one, this red button. Every time I click that, it wants to raise up the force. And then every time I raise the forks, it activates activates the SAS switch for some reason. So I'm going to click to raise the forks here. So every time I go up, the SAS switch clicks. So we have the forward reverse switch crossed and the SAS and lift switches crossed. So that should be fun. Alright guys, so for this code, 343... Um, what I did was to troubleshoot was I took this wire harness took it apart and I bypassed the forward reverse switch forward and reverse switch which is number 12 and number 20 on here and then I also bypassed the SAS switch this one here because when I clicked it it would do the same thing as I was raised so what I did is, is I bypassed just went from cut it here went from here all the way up to here I took the the forward switch um, power out and then I took the reverse switch power out bypass all of them and they started working which means that this wire harness was bad the one that goes from uh, this is cable JC402 connector this one and goes all the way through here through these um, the springs and goes all the way up to right here so here's the old one right here so that's what I did I took this out replaced it with the new one and it solved the issue now sometimes the issue is in this connector that goes up here I this that wasn't the issue sometimes the issue is in the main wire harness which wasn't the issue it was in this one so that's how I troubleshooted it and replaced it and I'm gonna put it all back together and test it out
Alright guys, um, there you have it, problem is fixed, error code is fixed, uh, we replaced the wire harness and it fixed the issue with the forward and reverse switch um, and the SAS switch and the lift switch um, that we're shorting out. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment down below and you have any technical questions or anything that you want um, a video of please let me know god bless and thank you for watching